How's everybody doing out there today? <clears throat> yeah, it's first thing in the morning. Can hardly talk yet. Check this car. This was a barn find, actually a garage find. I passed on it. I let my boss buy it because even though this car is 99% rust free, I mean anything rust on this car, it's like stupid stuff like uh, like the leaf springs in the exhaust, but the body is tremendous. This car's rocking the original paint, original motor, original interior. Bought this off an 82-year-old woman who she bought it back in 1980 with 2,000 miles on it. But, I mean, it, it should be painted. The car deserves full-blown restoration. And I'm having enough trouble getting my other ones done. But super nice car. Just thought I'd share this. It was sitting in her garage. It was her daily driver. 301 Dogmatic. But it's got power windows, air conditioning, and the AC compressor still turns. When I checked it out, sitting in the garage, I could not believe that. Uh, it looks like the only thing, somebody messed with the vacuum lines a little bit. The old TVS switches. Any older people remember what they are. That was a thermal vacuum switch. Before they were using ECMs uh, or PCM or whatever, however, whatever manufacturer you're talking about, to control everything. Back in the day, they did it on um, vacuum control with temperatures. Like they didn't want any EGR when it was cold. They didn't want any ignition timing when it was cold for immersion purposes. But... Um, Soup, just this car is just amazing. If I wasn't 60 years old, I would have bought it and let it sit until I was uh, got the 74 finished. Because see my other videos, you know, I'm a big Pontiac guy. Super clean. There is like no rust underneath the car either. But I just figured I'd share it with you. Maybe take a quick look at the interior. And I'm sure everybody's wondering. Um, she wanted $8,000 for it. I mean, the dash only has one little crack. And it's got beautiful floor seats in it. And that she was firm on her price. So the car is worth every penny of eight grand. If you want to restore it. The only downfall is it's not a high value Trans Am because of the 301. Somebody else did the brake work to it for her. her son or something was going to try. She wanted to start driving it again. But I guess maybe after she got in it a couple times. But you can see the PA sticker on here is an 03. And she bought it in 1980. But have a nice day.